What's up, roadies? Welcome back to the channel. So just like you saw in the title, I am riding today to go get a COVID test at Walgreens, and it is a self-administered test, so I love that I'll have control over the test myself, and nobody's going to be shoving anything on my nose because, to be quite honest, if anybody's seen the pictures that have gone around of what the test actually looks like, that can look scary. And anyone who thinks they have it but is like, I don't want to go get tested because... Like, it, nobody about to shove nothing up my nose, which I've seen a lot of people say on social media. I just wanted to just, you know, if that's you and you happen to come across this video, then you'll get to see what the process actually looks like. It's really not that bad. Also, a couple of days ago, I was like walking and I mean, you know, just like a little, a little regular stroll, you know what I'm saying? Not too fast, not too slow. And I was like heavy breathing like <gasps> it was bad so i was like "Ooh, ooh, this quarantine eating is getting to me so i wanted to make sure that it was just you know me you know not having the same activity that i had before the quarantine and i wanted to make sure it wasn't anything else like having covid so i went decided to go and get this test at walgreens um the test was free for me with my health insurance but i think the regular test is about 129 dollars if you don't have health insurance um, but apparently most health insurances are accepted for a free test. And also there are free community tests. There might be one in your community. So go check it out if you feel the need to go get tested. So let's get it. Uh, I'm here for a drive-through COVID test. Okay. So when you get to the bag, is this going to be a specimen bag? This is going to be the bag you need to take your test. Okay. Inside of this bag right here, there's going to be a cotton swab and there's going to be some solution. You open up your cotton swab like a band-aid, insert it into your nostril an inch to an inch and a half high or at least till it feels a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You do five big circular motions, take it out, do the same thing on the opposite side. Once you're done, you'll put it into this um, solution. The solution will go into your specimen bag and then the specimen bag will go right here into this white box past the window. Okay. All right, and just stay here and do it. I'll walk you through it if you have any questions. Okay. You said five? Uh -huh. And that's it, y'all. So two minutes and done. I love that I had control over the test myself so I could do what was most comfortably uncomfortable for me because it wasn't a comfortable experience at all. However, it was better doing it myself than having somebody else jack a cotton swab up my nose. So I appreciated the self-administering aspect of the test. And I got my test results a little more than 24 hours later. And here they are. negative period but on a lighter note i do want to send prayers up to anyone who may have lost someone to covid or anyone who may be dealing with severe symptoms of covid we're living in real crazy times right now and i know there's a lot of loss happening right now and i just wanted this video to be more informational for anyone who may be scared to get the test just for whatever reason um and just to show you that the test is not bad. So know your, know your status. <laughs> we say know your status for a lot of stuff. You should also know your status about COVID. So um, this is it. That's all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. You can jam with me to this music. And I'll see y'all next time for the next ride.